Hi guys. Thanks for stopping by and watching my triple play Thursday. I love doing three different things on my video on Thursday. And today it's going to be um, a haul from Dollar Tree, which these three things came from Dollar Tree. And it's going to be a little bit of the home goods that I went to and there's going to be a DIY. And these are so cute, right? Right up my alley with my tree I'm going to have this year. It's really, really like, um, all like, kind of gingerbread, kind of like. Picture a gingerbread house with all the colors on it. And the candy, you know, things like that. And guys, I grabbed these ornaments because they kind of remind me of candy in a way. So they're going to fit perfectly on the tree five and they have like a pink tone to them but I don't know if you can tell and then they got like a frosted white around them and then these are gonna fit right in too yeah they're really going all, all out this year on the ornaments at Dollar Tree and then this is the last of it for the ornaments that I got I'm trying to just picture all the colors on a gingerbread house, you know, and throw them in there. And then, guys, look at this snowflake um, ornament. But I think it's, you know, you can put it on the wall, too. You don't have to just use it for an ornament. And um, look how it's got that buffalo check on it. Um, although you could call it gingham, too, if it's tiny like that. But um, it says believe. And that is like that kind of, you know, I want to say that that is um, galvanized. Yeah, that is. And then guys, check out this cute home sign. I mean, we've seen them before, but not like this. This is like a, a wood, you know, that wood. And then, um, I mean, I haven't seen this before. Have you guys seen this before? And I'm going to say that's about 15 inches high, guys. That's what it appears to be to me. And look at these cute little bottles. All the pumpkins look that way. It almost looks like it was meant to look old. It's fall, y'all. Oh my god, I love that. And then leaves are falling. Autumn is calling. And there was one more. I think this is just more like, um, well, it's a paper tag. So, And they both have it. You can probably leave it on or you can take it off. Um, but anyway, how cute are those bottles, right? Oh my god, they're so adorable. And there was one more and it had a picture of an autumn leaf on it only. Just a, like a leaf about like, you know, maybe about that big. Yeah. And I grabbed one of these trinket trays. There was four different sayings. But to me, this was my favorite one. It kind of covers it all, you know. In a world where you can be anything. I thought that just kind of said everything, you know? And guys, this was on my wish list, but I didn't get it till today. So it's a little bit late for yesterday's wish list Wednesday. And I can't wait till next Wednesday because I'll be like chomping at the bit trying to, you know, hold back on this. So I had to show it to you. I know other people have hauled it and I have wanted it. And that's why it's on my wish list. So... Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That's so cool. But guys, you know how I am. When I find something I love. So, I got a few more. So I can do giveaways. So anyway, guys. I got three of those. And you know how like they have... You know, you've seen these, right? Like they rub on the glass. The rub on transfer sticker. Um... But I like this one the best. It said, I'm here for the booze, right? I'm here for the booze. You can say it any way you want. So anyway, how cute is that, right? I can't wait to do that. I'll show it to you when I do it. And then, guys, I had to grab these. I'll give one of the. I'll give this to one of my granddaughters. But look at the bees. You know how the bees are everywhere. As a matter of fact, there was a bee almost got in my car this morning at Dunkin' Donuts. And I rolled up the window. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I got the sunroof open. But he didn't get in my <laughs> Thank God he didn't get in my car. It was a big bumblebee, too. And then, guys, I love these prayer cards there. And I hadn't got this style before. And, you know, I guess they come out with different ones. 
you know, maybe once a year. And then I got this one. So there's two different ones, okay? There's one with these lighter colored and then those. I love these. These are always so popular, you know? And then I caught these out of the corner of my eye when I walked in. I'm like, let me go grab them right now, just in case. And this was behind what I first saw. So this is the second one I saw. And this is so cute, right? Welcome. And then the other one was the first one I saw. And that says, Believe. How cute is that? And again, I'm not a big gnome person but you know i guess i'm kind of hopping on the bandwagon you know they are kind of cute so grab these two and guys i grabbed this okay from the craft the square section it's the floral foam and it's shaped like that and i keep this in mind because i'm going to show you a diy i did at the end okay actually guys there's one more thing from the dollar tree it's kind of like a jackpot find and it's I didn't realize it at first, but it has a lot to do with Harry Potter. And so I grabbed this for my daughter. This is a hardcover book. It's pretty big. And I'm just going to flip through it really quick. Okay. How cool is this book? It's got like tickets in it. It's got like all kinds of little like things that you wouldn't even think were in a book you know so anyway guys I thought I kind of hit the jackpot on that one and let's see how much that originally cost all right the price is covered up I can't find it inside the book but it's by Warner Brothers how cool is that book okay here is the home goods part of it guys and I'm going to just briefly show you the two Ray Dunn cups and the only reason I'm not going to stick with this too long is because I want to show you my DIY. But this is the second part of the triple play. Two beautiful Ray Dunn cups. Okay guys, here's two of my DIYs. Here's a cupcake. And here is an ice cream cone. Okay. And I used this. Okay, so I cut off right about there. So you can see how the top part became the cupcake and then the bottom part became the ice cream cone. I have to keep it in there to dry and I'll show you what else I used. Okay guys, so I took some Dollar Tree spackle and some white paint and mixed it up to the consistency I needed it and then I put it in one of those, um, you know, decorator. I'll show you the tube. Hold on. And I chose like a mixture of those two pinks for the bottom, but um, I got to paint them again because I got my hands on them, like my fingerprints. And then I used real rainbow sprinkles, but I'm going to put Mod Podge over them after they dry. They're not dry yet, and I'm probably going to cut the bottom off of that and make it like I'll use it for something else, maybe like a mini ice cream cone. So anyway, guys... It's just that one thing that made those two things. And then again, the spackle, the white paint mixed, and some pink paint. You can make that bottom of that cupcake any color you want. I got pretty much everything except for the sprinkles I did not get at the Dollar Tree, okay? I don't think I got this paint at the Dollar Tree either. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the triple play. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Bye now. And I'm going to let these dry overnight, guys, okay? And then I'll add the Mod Podge. And, guys, I'm going to put a skewer in the bottom of them, one of those long ones like that you would um, toast marshmallows with. And then I'll stick it in the tree when they're all dry, okay, guys? Thanks for watching.